there's this funny thing that happens when women age. We become damn near invisible. Oh, dear. I got you. Now, that's a short clip from the new series Matlock on CBS television, where Kathy Bates plays Matty Matlock, not to be confused, or maybe deliberately to be confused, with Andy Griffith, who was the original Matlock. And of course, you'll remember Andy Griffith outsmarted everybody because they underestimated him due to his country bumpkin ways. Well, in this case, Matty Matlock is using her age, her seniority. Old people are always invisible. It's a great, great ploy, great reboot. Yeah, and also, uh, it's really kind of fun, uh, as you'll see in this uh, next clip, where uh, she uh, ingratiates herself uh, to the senior management of this law firm. Uh, and uh, here's another little example of that. Uh, I don't know these people. It's me, your Aunt Brenda. <laughs> I got sick. Lost a lot of weight. I just never thought you wouldn't recognize me. No, it just took a second. I recognize you. I've got the kids tonight, otherwise we'd be having a scotch. Uh, well, no scotch for me, mm. unless I'm getting laid. Oh. I guess that's not on the table. Where did you come from? Now, as you can see, she's uh, being endearing and so on and so forth, but she's really got her act together. And uh, as you watch this, you see that she does almost everything with a purpose. And uh, uh, she is really laser focused on uh, impressing everybody, which she does, and uh, coming to conclusions. And uh, we'll get up to it a little bit that there's a whole secondary reason why she's doing this in the first place. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of a secondary. Uh, well, it's a it's a, a sublime plot beneath the plot. Um, it turns out she may not really be Maddie Matlock. I don't want to give it away. You have to watch the series. Oh and, wait, John, uh, John, right? She might she not be? Yeah, <laughs> you never know. But, Art. but the reason the reason she she's uh, 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 in this persona is to get a very specifically a job in this specific law firm uh, to, and, and uh, by the end of the uh, show, uh, the premiere show, uh, uh, which is a, the, the trailer is from, uh, you'll know why. Uh, and then uh, uh, we watched uh, the, the first episode, which actually, or the second episode, or there's a premiere and then the first regular episode and came about three or four weeks apart. This is on CBS, by the way. Uh, on broadcast TV, and eventually it'll be streamed on on everything else. But right now it's only on Paramount. So that, and the, but there's only two episodes out. There's the premiere and the and the one we just saw last week, uh, and uh, it's just brilliant the way they develop her character and uh, the backstory and how she covers it and so on and so forth. Hi. Just a quick interruption to ask you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Right, right. Yeah, it's a, she's playing undercover uh, lawyer, if you will. Anyway, it's a great reboot because it takes the basic premise of Matlock being an underestimated, um, in this case, senior, as opposed to a country bumpkin, and plays with it in a new way, in a new setting, with a, a whole new cast, and it, it's very well done. Um, it includes Bo Bridges, who is a apparently a last-minute add uh, to the cast. I guess the show was delayed. Uh, production was actually delayed by a year, and um, in that year, Jamie Sheridan, who was the original senior partner, now played by Bo, Bo Bridges, Jamie Sheridan couldn't continue. He had conflicts after the uh, writer's strike ended. So mm -hmm. all of a sudden at least to some people all of a sudden, Bo Bridges is now the new senior partner. And he plays, a, he's, a, he's a good actor and he, he plays a, a, a well thought out part, but he's the only one dressed in, I don't know, cotton, plaid cotton shirts. Everybody else is in a New York law firm. So I think they've got to figure something out there. It's a, a, a late ad to put Bo Bridges in. I'm not sure they completely thought out his character. Well, maybe that's, but maybe it's about anyway. Special props to to John because uh, when we were doing some research on this, uh, I uh, pulled up the fact that it was Jamie Sheridan who was listed yeah. in all the publicity, 
And apparently, uh, uh, I, John and I were discussing this. I said, Jamie Sheridan, but, uh, uh, and then they had another name in there as well, and it didn't look like him either. And then all of a sudden, uh, we did the further research after John picked it up that it was absolutely Bo Bridges. Okay, it wasn't anybody else that they said it was. So my props to, to John because he he likes to find stuff like that. And apparently they they uh, they fixed some stuff in one of the uh, things uh, by having long shots or using AI so that Bo Bridges would yeah. actually be in the thing that he wasn't in. Yeah. I, well, they had to. Apparently, they had to fix it a year later. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they must have used a lot of tricks. I couldn't tell the difference. Bottom line, uh, this is a absolutely great show. Okay. Yes. We, yeah. you know, if we had four thumbs, this would be. Well, we do have four thumbs. <laughs> if we had eight thumbs. This would be eight thumbs up. To borrow uh, from uh, uh, Ebert and Roper or whoever they were. Uh, well, is it great, is. This is this is enjoyable. I don't think there's it, anybody in our audience that will not enjoy this. Yes, it's. I was going to say it's a good series, not just for people who happen to be uh, have a little gray hair who will appreciate the the premise behind it, um, but it's a very well done series. It, it, it's very well done and very good writing, fine acting, and um, I think it's it's a great reboot is probably the right mm -hmm. word of the old Matlock series. I think it's going to do very well. Yeah, but, CBS. Uh, one 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 other thing. It's for anybody of a certain age, like all of us, that this is more like television as we used to know it. You can't just binge watch the series. Okay, you can maybe later on, uh, like right. old versions of I Love Lucy, but this is on, if, if you know anybody with a water cooler, that every week you can get together with the water cooler and discuss the <laughs> latest episode of yeah. Matt Locke's not locked with the uh, with the Kathy Bates because it's only on every Thursday uh, for the season. I don't know how yeah, many episodes I, I'll have. I guarantee you, after you watch uh, the the latest episode, you're going to say to yourself, "What? I I can't go on Netflix and watch the next three episodes." Mm. <laughs> Anyway, enjoy uh, it. Love it. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.